All right, one more story before we go. The Institute of Economic Affairs has urged the Bank of Ghana to embark on the necessary reforms that will create the fiscal and financial gap needed to enhance the nation's economic growth. According to Director of Research, Dr. John Kwashi, the nation is still yet to recover from the downward growth trajectory recorded in the last two years. He spoke to the media in Okra. Ghana is facing a serious debt crisis and the government is working on a plan to fix it. This includes restructuring debt, tightening spending and making changes to boost the economy. However, the Director of Research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, an economic think tank, Dr. John Kwasi says the central bank needs to do more to close the fiscal gap. The lower deficit reflected almost entirely uh, lower expenditure. Both the lower expenditure and deficit occurred on the back of reduced interest payments due to, due to the domestic debt exchange program which was not fully captured in setting the fiscal targets. The, fix, the fiscal targets must also be considered in the context of suspended external debt payments since 2021, which would make the figures look ordinarily more favorable. Achieving durable, favorable fiscal outcomes would require both revenue and, and expenditure reforms that limit the fiscal gap and the required financing. Dr. Kwache is urging the government to implement policies that will accelerate economic growth. The governor reported that growth in 2023 was above expectations. He referred to GDP data released by the Ghana Saska Service that indicated real GDP growth was higher for 2023 compared with the revised target for the year, and that the growth was driven by the services and agriculture sectors. It is a fact, however, that even this higher growth in 2023 was still lower than those recorded in 2021 and in 2022, implying that the economy is still yet to recover, let alone turn the corner, as is being suggested by uh, the economic managers. The Institute of Economic Affairs proposes that the central bank should embark on a coordinated fiscal and monetary policies to promote durable macroeconomic stability and sustained growth.